everyone, every single person, including you, is on a learning curve. Your organization is a collection of those learning curves. You build an A team, a team that can innovate by optimizing those curves. At any given time, you want about 15% of your people at the low end of the curve. They're inexperienced, but they also ask questions like, why do you do it like this? You want 70% of your people in this sweet spot. These are your engines of innovation because they know enough, but not too much. And then you want 15% of your people at the high end. They're not necessarily going to innovate, but they've got this vantage point. They're on the top of the mountain and they can bring other people up along the curve. If you want to know, are we about to be disrupted? Things have been going well, but are we at risk? Just take the pulse, the pulse of your workforce. If you have too many people at the high end, then you are at risk. And so what do you do? You've got to let your people leap. Ideally, it'll be on your team, if not on your team, in your company. But if not in your company, then a client, a trading partner, it doesn't matter. But you must let them leap. Treat your people well. They will become ambassadors for you, for your company, for life. Don't build just one A-team. Build vast networks of A-teams across your career.